On the crest of the Santa Monica Mountains at the end of Dirt Mulholland in Encino is San Vicente Mountain Park, offering picnic areas with scenic vistas and access to a vast network of mountain biking, hiking, Good morning. and equestrian trails. Fifty years ago, this area was a Nike missile base, known as Nike Missile Control Site LA-96C. It reminds us of another time, a fear of nuclear attack, the Cold War. You have to imagine what they went through, you know, what this really meant for LA, for the Valley, for the security. So there's so many things that you can learn just to a few steps from the valley. Like instead of just being just on the city, you can just walk a few steps and you're out here in the open, enjoying the wind, the sun, which is beautiful. The, uh, you know, just the being out here free. Awesome. For mountain bike enthusiast and community activist Jim Hasenauer, San Vicente Mountain Park is a good starting point for his weekly rides. So we're going to be heading uh, west on Dirt Mulholland. My name is Jim Hasenauer. I'm a uh, retired professor from Cal State Northridge, and I'm on the governing board of the Mountains Recreation and Conservation Authority. In 1987, uh, a group of uh, riders got together and formed CORBA, the Concerned Off-Road Bicyclist Association. CORBA's 25 years old now, and, uh, and we're out there to uh, educate bicyclists in responsible riding behavior and to work with the land managers and the other user groups. These are the essentials that I'm carrying in my pack. I've got a, uh, a pump, and uh, I hope to not have to use that pump, but I've got that in case my CO2 cartridges run out. Because I also I inflate my tires, I've got an extra tube, and I've got uh, two CO2 cartridges and a, uh, and a CO2 shooter. And that's like the quickest, easiest way to, uh, to fill up your tires. I've got some nutrition, I've got some uh, Swift Shot, which is a uh, kind of a soft nutrition, and I've got a Mojo Bar, which is a uh, you know, kind of nutrition food, energy food. I've got three Allen wrenches. Those three Allen wrenches will pretty much adjust everything I need on my bike. I've got a Swiss Army knife with screwdrivers and you know, all the things you'd see on a Swiss Army knife. And I've got toilet paper, and uh, I haven't used that much, but the one time I didn't have it, I decided to put it in my pack. And then, th and then there is the pack. And what you'll see is that most mountain bike riders are going to carry some kind of a backpack. Most of us have a hydration system in it, some kind of a reservoir. And uh, in addition to these essentials that you see here, uh, most mountain bikers are going to carry in their pack uh, the thing they didn't have last time and they really wanted. Uh, also on my pack, I've got a, a whistle hanging on from the front straps, kind of an emergency whistle if I needed to get somebody's attention. You just need to be prepared. When you're out in the mountains, you're uh, kind of here by yourself. You've got to be able to take care of yourself. You've got to be able to get you and your bike home safely. I usually travel with a cell phone. Uh, it doesn't always work in the mountains, but uh, I feel better knowing that I've got it. I ride alone a lot, and uh, whenever I go, I always leave a note for my wife telling, me where I'm telling her where I'm going to be. Uh, she might not know, but she'd call one of my biking buddies and they'd know. So uh, the important thing about any kind of trail recreation is that you're going to have to assume the risk and be out there uh, trying to enjoy yourself and get yourself home safely. Dirt Mulholland is a stretch of Mulholland Drive that runs from Encino Hills Drive in Encino on the east all the way out to Canoga Avenue in Woodland Hills on the west. And so many trails and so many fire roads and so many of the mountain parks are kind of off this spine of, uh, of Dirt Mulholland. Many people in LA don't even know these trails are here. But for those of us that do, hikers, mountain bikers, equestrians, this is a great recreational resource. So I've just got a, a deep, deep love of the mountains, of trails, of open space, and bicycling. And I just really hope that everybody can kind of come to appreciate this treasure of the Santa Monica Mountains that we all have in our backyard.